Hi everyone, how are you going? So I'm on to do my very last design team challenge for Gina Aaron's design team. And I thought today um, the main thing I wanted to do was work in Gina's book that she has published. Her book is called Creativity and Self-Expression, A Journey by Gina Bronzini Ahrens. I have photocopied bits and pieces out of her book before and I used it to make a rather large art board that I just love. I'm actually going through a bit of a hard time mentally. I am a little bit depressed at the moment. It normally happens to me around Christmas time, but even more so because my darling husband had some bad news the other day, and that's kind of like put me in a spiral going and down. And the theme for this design team, oh, for this month's challenge, is colour it. And when I get into this mental state that I'm in, the last thing I feel like doing is using colour. I normally grab my art journal and just start putting black down just to get rid of this feeling. So this is a really big challenge for me this month. I have to use colour. Alright, so enough about that. Um, Gina's book is just absolutely and awesome. She sells it on her in her online stores. Um, I won't I won't go through all of it, but I thought I'd bookmark this page here. And what I was thinking that just to photocopy the pages and then work on a photocopy page, but I don't feel like doing that today. This is, you know, I want to work in the book. And on some of the pages uh, she has a little bit of colour down already to get you started and other pages she has like a blank page plus the writing on the left hand side and this page here I've, I've just I've read I've read this book over and over and it's just really inspirational so if you haven't got a copy it would be well worth your while to buy a copy of her book so i come across this page here and it said down the bottom she has little prompts and it says can you express how you feel right now can you accept and release it can you accept it is okay to be happy yes it is okay to be happy but, you know, a lot of you know that when you start getting into a depressed state, it's hard. It's hard to think that everything is going to be alright in the end. You can't see the light at the end. Oh my God, I'm having a hard time with this. Okay, so what I thought I would do today, I am going to actually work on this page and it's already inspiring because Gina has already got a little bit of colour on there for me. And I've grabbed out a few, I wanted to use up a few old paints, so I've just put a bit of purple, a blue, maroon, green, white, pink and orange on there. I was going to put some more yellow on and I just thought, nah, I don't like yellow today. So that's what, I, <laughs> that's what I've done. So I just thought that I'm just going to do, I'm going to work through whatever's going on in my mind and I am going to colour this page. So I hope you stick around and see it finished. I might just put my overhead light on but that's going to make much difference anyway. Okay, 
So let's get started. I'm also um, a few months back. We made I made some some washi, and I made it out of using Gina's actual printable downloads. So I thought I might. I've got a few pieces left here, and I thought I might somehow incorporate them onto my page as well. Plus I've also got a few word stamps that I'm thinking of using and I haven't used bubble wrap for a while and I don't know about you but bubble wrap actually does make me happy when you sit there and just pop it but I'm not going to <laughs> I am not going to sit here and pop all the bubble wrap I'm going to actually put paint on it all right so I think I might use I might just use a cut down plastic card for this and I, before I start colouring it I'm just going to read a paragraph here that Gina has in a book because it just it really relates to my how I'm feeling at the moment and it says we, have, we all have our off days, those days when it feels like life woke up and gave you a big old smack in the face. I have said many times in my life that I know the Supreme Being is testing me and He knows I can handle it. Sometimes I need a break and wish He would go test somebody else right now. Which is exactly what I think He's doing with my husband and me. <laughs> And then the next paragraph is, have you ever felt like that? Oh, of course. I think everybody has at least once in their life. Know that when this happens, and it will, that you are not alone. We all have these moments in life. It is how we handle them that makes, them the, dif that makes the difference. Let go of what we cannot change and learn to change or react differently to those things that we can. So that's what I'm going to do on this page right now. Uh, instead of me being in this dark mood and putting black on the page, I am actually going to change how I react to feeling like this and I'm going to put some colour on it. Okay, so here I go. I'll just come out just a little bit more. Alright, let's get some colour. Okay, well, I think I have enough colour on there that I want to do. Looks pretty cool. And I really enjoy just putting paint on a page inside Gina's book. It was pretty cool. I like that. Now, I am going to... I've just got a couple of Gina's stamps here and I'm just going to put a few little stamps on here just for another layer and for a little bit more interest in the page I'm also going to use a few little strips of this washi tape and this was the washi tape I made from Gina's digital downloads but I just thought I might like to put a few pieces I'll just put that in the paint hang on a sec I have to wipe that off <laughs> And there we go. Let's move the paint over a bit more so I don't get any any more paint where I don't want it. Okay, so I'm just going to put a few strips. 
strips of this washi tape down. The washi's just added another layer of colour to my page. Okay, not that you can see that that much, but that looks pretty cool. All right, so now I'm just going to I'm just going to outline up the stabilo all, and I'm just going to outline these strips of washi very roughly. I'm going to activate that and to activate the black stabilo I'm going to use a little bit of matte gel medium instead of water you can use water but I learnt this trick from another person And I'm going to just activate the Stabilo All Pencil. <coughs> and when this dries, by activating it with the gel medium, it won't reactivate if I put anything else over the top of it. so I've got those outlined and I am just going to still have a play I'm going to use some white gesso and I'm thinking I might I might use my finger let's get some paint on our fingers and I'm just going to do some sweeps just to tone the colours in the centre of the washi tape down just a little, I don't want it toned down too much alright, so that's pretty cool, I'm actually like that and I think that is just wet my finger. That is actually showing the mood that I'm in with all my colours all jumbled up and me thinking why 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 is this happening to my husband again? <sighs> okay. Alright, so what I'm going to do now I might actually use a bit of bubble wrap. I'll just cut that down a little bit. And <sighs> what colour? Okay, let's use some of this old ratty blue one. This is also this is just putting another layer, another textured layer, because I've got the paint on rather glumpy. Is that a word, glumpy? I have my background how I want it so far. And I'm just thinking, I've pulled out a few bits and pieces I have one of Gina's digital downloadable words or a phrase that she has as well and this one just says one day at a time so I want to use that and before I use it I'm just got I have just got a scrap bit of cardboard 
and I'm actually going to glue <coughs> pardon me, glue that onto the cardboard with a glue stick and I'm just going to layer up a few little <coughs> focal bits and pieces of fabric maybe that one so I'm just going to have this as my embellishment and I'm going to use some wet glue Okay, so before I glue that down, I'm just going to use, put a couple of little staples in just the side here. Okay, so that's my little embellishment. And I am going to glue that just down there, but before I do, I just had a look at this and I just thought, no, I want to put some more colour back into it. Okay, I'm going I'm just going to use a pencil and do a little bit of journaling over the top of this. Uh, it won't really be legible for you, but I really just feel like getting out some of of the the stuff that's going on in my mind, in my head. Okay. And I'm not going to use that, I'll use Well that got that out and it just gave me another layer on my journal page And it's pretty good that you actually can't read what that says <laughs> Because we're not allowed to use any curse words on here, are we? Any cuss words. Alright, so I'm just thinking I want a few circles on there. So I'm going to do a couple of black ones. I've got th those little fibres sticking to me everywhere. Um, I need a bit of paper. And I just feel like doing a few more marks so I'm going to use this which is it's a permanent marker that I picked up at Daiso and let's see Okay, alright, <clears throat> I could actually sit here and just keep doing more doodles over and over and over again because it is relaxing me and I don't have to think about what I'm doing but I'm going to finish this off and I want to put, I'm not sure where I want to put this now, I might want to put that just there, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm actually just going to glue this straight on to my art journal page and call it done. And, oops, truthfully, this really did make me actually stop worrying about my husband for a short amount of time, and it was good therapy. Just doing a little bit. Of work in Gina's published book. So all the links 
for Gina's online store will be down in my description. You just click the show more and it'll bring up all the the other ladies that are participating in this month's challenge which is the theme is colour it and actually that looks pretty good I like that a lot and the quote just says one day at a time so that's exactly what my husband and myself have to do. We just have to take this one day at a time. And hopefully when we do, we will, we will get through it in the end. Okay, so there's my this month's challenge for Gina Aaron's design team the theme colour it and I decided to actually work in Gina's published book Creativity and Self-Expression A Journey by Gina Bronzini Aaron's and it is it was really it was wonderful I enjoyed doing it I enjoyed putting those colours down on what I would call a a black day for me <laughs> mentally and it was great so thanks everyone I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you will go and grab a copy of Gina's published book Creativity and Self-Expression A Journey by Gina Bronzini Ahrens thanks everyone and I will catch you later. Bye-bye.